this is the makeup trend I'm going to be doing. I think this is the second one for the makeup trend, and it's the natural makeup. And I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, it is a natural makeup look. And um, I just have really bold eyelashes on, just to put a little bit of oomph. You can totally use normal eyelash. But yeah, if you're interested to learn how to do this look, then just keep on watching. Hey guys, so for a natural look, you can either use um, your usual foundation, the one that you use for your everyday look, or you can simply put on your powder. It really depends on the amount of blemishes and markings that you have on your face. Um, as much as possible, I know it sounds superficial, it, it really is better if you have a clear, flawless looking face. So most of the time, concealing is your best friend. Now for today, I'm going to be using my Everbolena Studio Finish Stick Foundation. So I got this for I think 165 and it has really good coverage. Now when you're using a stick foundation, it is very, very convenient. Like especially when you move um, around a lot and you're you're always on the go because it comes in a handy container and you can just simply wipe it all over your face just like this you can concentrate on areas where you have a lot of markings so now you're done applying your foundation it's time for you to do a little color correcting and concealing now in my previous vlog how to have a flawless looking face I've already explained how to color correct your face so as you can see I didn't really do anything special with my eyebrows I simply follow the natural um, shape of my brows so we want this to look as natural as possible, so it's best if you used eyeshadow instead of a pencil liner because that would look a bit too harsh. So just make sure that you shave your eyebrows first, you pluck it, you shape it the right way. We will now continue with contouring. Lover's eyeshadow in red earth. So I'm just going to use a small brush like this. So I'm going to use I'm going to show you how to use a small brush to contour your face. Okay? So just get some of that product, tap it a little bit, and then make a fish face. Start over here and down. Blend that upwards, buff it up, do the other face, make sure it's even. Okay, so we're done with contouring. Um, pretty much that's what that's all I need to do now. If you prefer to emphasize your nose. Um, you could choose a darker shade, something not too harsh, just a little shallow shade that you can use and um, just put it on the side of your nose. Make sure you blend it well so it looks natural and sometimes people can't even tell you might experience something like what I experienced like someone actually thought I had a nose job so for the eyes we don't really want anything special we just want to enhance our eyes so what we're going to do is to use neutral colors. I'm going to be using my Everblenna 24 Shades palette. And this is how it looks like. Okay, so for my eyes, I'm going to be using a slight brown color. This one. 
and I'm going to use that to contour my lids. blend that color in you can use a neutral color like this or a color that is close to your skin tone and apply it here just before the arch of your brows This one you want to look really awake and you want to have bright eyes so you can use your fingers and use the highlighter you used earlier or like any white powder it can be a little bit shimmery just a little bit or it can be plain matte To apply eyeliner now if you want to achieve <laughs> if you want to achieve that really natural look you can use pencil liner because that would be less harsh but then the problem with that is that it would smudge at the end of the day and it wouldn't last that long and um, putting eyeshadow on top of that is not really a guarantee I don't know that's just my experience so I prefer to put on liquid liner and then just matte it down with um, black eyeshadow so I'm done putting eyeliner on top of my lids and tight lining my eyes. Now I'm going to put black eyeshadow on top of that just to, um, I'm going to use this black. I'm just going to do that to get rid of the shiny areas from the liquid liner. Okay, so we're done. Now since we want to achieve a very, very subtle emphasis of our features, um, I usually put um, a brown liner just below my lash line. Um, I don't really use black because it's too harsh and it's too obvious. So I use sort of like a brown shade. So I'm just going to use the same angled brush. Um, of course I cleaned it. And I'm going to use a brown shade. I'm just going to use this one. And that's like a really light shade of brown, kind of like bronzy, gold brown or something. And I'm just going to line my lower lash line with that. Now you don't include the inner corner of your eyes, you just stop right at this area. This is how it looks like without the mascara. I mean, the false lashes. Um, if you have naturally thick lashes, you're so lucky. But for you, for those of you that don't, you can use um, excessive mascara. Now, if you're going to purchase a mascara, make sure that the wand brush um, is thick and big because that would really help give volume to your lashes and um, more product is going to be applied. You can also use wands that are curved because that will help curl your lashes even if you don't have uh, the eyelash curlers. Right. So now for the plush, I'm going to be using Everbolana blush in Raisin. So it's kind of like a really light peachy pink color and it's almost run out. I'm just going to use the same small brush I use for contouring. I cleaned it of course and I'll just apply it at the apples of my cheeks. Do a rotating motion to kind of blend it well. And when you're applying cheek blush, 
make sure that you start at the top part going down instead of from the middle going up because we want to concentrate the product here and if you put on too much you can easily blend it downwards or upwards okay hey guys so this is the final look um i don't know if you can tell but it looks really natural and my boyfriend actually said that it looked like i had nothing on my face so yeah, um, I hope that you like the look and watch out for the two other tutorials I'm going to be doing and that's going to be the smoky eyes and the bright eyes. So yeah, thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Support! Bye!